everyone. So I just got a package in from Skin Script. I have a receipt right here. I ordered the seasonal mask, the Autumn Spice Hydrating Mask. Okay, and then I ordered this charcoal clay cleanser for a client. Um, cucumber hydration toner is for me. Um, this light aloe moisturizer is for a client. Um, greeting citrus cleanser is for me. SPF is for a client. For some samples, they gave me the facial protocol for the mask. I was super excited for this. This is Skin Scripts like Bible. It's a training reference manual. I am so excited. I used to um, use their online um, manual, but I was like, I don't know. I just like to have something on hand. Like I like to like read off a book instead of like online. I'm gonna show you like a little sneak peek of the reference manual. Table contents, of course, enzymes, masks, chemical peels, home care protocols, slash kits. I just, just, this is so satisfying. I'm so happy. Enzyme intensity guide. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're in my bathroom right now, and I wanted to show you guys where I keep my skincare products. So it's right in here. Top one is my husband's. This one is mine. The raspberry refining cleanser. Retinol 2% exfoliating scrub mask. Clarifying toner pads. Green tea cleanser. I had to purchase another one because I'm almost out. I have the blemish spot treatment. And here I have um, an ultrasonic a silicone face brush, facial brush, a silicone face <laughs> facial brush, a lip scrub. What's that? I have this facial mask from Root Science. It's the Reborn mask. Vitamin C from Cindy Riley and a purifying face wash slash mask from, is it IB Lin? I'm sorry, I don't really know how to pronounce it. So there's that one. This one's fairly new, I haven't really used it. I think I used it like three times. I have these aloe soothing facial mask. So these here are the products I use every single day, plus the cucumber hydration toner. So I have the sample Citrus C Nourishing Cream, the Osea Blemish Balm Moisturizer, the Peptide Eye Serum, Force SPF. So I just saw the time, it's 12.03, so I have like an hour and an hour and 20 minutes to get ready and to eat some lunch before I leave to work. So usually I eat before I start doing my makeup, but today I woke up late, so I eat breakfast late, so I'm not that hungry. I'm pretty sure after I'm done doing my makeup get hungry so i'm just gonna wait on it i'm gonna do my makeup first i already cleansed my skin i moisturized my skin with the osea blemish balm moisturizer applied sunscreen put um 
the ice serum, and of course the vitamin C. So I'm all set. So it's actually the next day. Yesterday I got super busy, so I was unable to film this tutorial that I wanted to show you guys. It's kind of a tutorial and at the same time like a tip for you guys, um, especially like new estheticians, because when you're new in the industry, don't realize that there's a lot of things that you can use to help you out in the treatment room. And this is one of them. Um, so basically, this consists of labeling your products, your bag products. The products that I'll be using is from SkinScript. I actually brought all of my enzymes and masks from the studio. And we are going to label them together so you guys can see how I label them. Now, this is the first time that I'm doing this. So I'm super excited to show you guys and at the same time i'm excited to do it myself for the first time i actually got this idea from a facebook group so let's get started so all you'll need is round labels avery round labels and i'm gonna list everything that i used on the on the description so you guys can see that so you'll need the avery round labels and a laptop or an iPad and a printer. And my iPad's super, super slow. Okay, let's see if they have an Avery app. Okay, so I'm on Avery.com. I'm gonna go ahead and put, find a template. Enter product or template numbers. This one is 5294. Two and a half. Start designing. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the first design. So select this design. Then you'll go ahead and edit one. If you edit all, it'll just put words on all the labels and you don't want to do that because you're doing one by one so it's edit one and you can add a text box on the left side now there's three things you can add on the label i usually just add two things which is the skin type and the skin ingredient or what it, it's good for what the product is good for but you can also add the product name on top so it'll be like the product name skin type and then what it's good for so the first one strawberry spearmint mask so i'm gonna go ahead and go to my reference manual book and i'm going to search um, or look for the strawberry spearmint mask so let's see 
I don't even know that the strawberry salmon mask is here. It should be. Here it is. So here's the strawberry spearmint mask. So it says that it's good for skin types. It's normal to oily skin and acne skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that first. So where it says active ingredients right here, I'm just gonna put the ones that are like the most important ingredients, the most common. All right guys, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and finished the strawberry spearmint mask label. I went ahead and put the skin type, normal to oily skin and acneic skin. Then I went ahead and added a small description of the mask. So it helps absorb sebum, improves skin tone, tightens pores, moisturizes, it's an estrogen, and it relieves itching. And then I put how long I should leave the mask for. So seven to 10 minutes is a good amount. And that is it. So I'll just leave those three in there and then let's get started with the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and do um I'm almost done with this goji berry yogurt one so I don't think I'm going to label this one um unless you want to keep the same bottle every single time and then once you get a new bottle pour in the new product in that in the labeled mask um I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. That, that could be smart so that you won't also be spending stickers every single time. Let's just label this one. This one's the Goji Berry Yogurt Mask. So let's go to our reference manual. Goji Berry Yogurt Mask. I think I've just seen this one. Goji Berry Yogurt Mask. I wish you guys could see like every single thing I'm doing. Here. Skin types is all skin types, especially normal to dry skin. I'm obsessed with this mask actually. All right, so let's put that. So you're gonna go ahead and add a text, text box, edit text, all skin types. And then enter normal to dry. Scoot that up there. All right, add text box. Vitamin C. Smooths, moisturizes, and I'm just going to put anti-inflammatory. I usually use this mask after uh, I dermaplane because it does help with the inflammation and redness after dermaplaning. So this is my favorite mask for that. Um, so I went ahead and put the anti-inflammatory. And we'll go ahead and put Soothes Irritated Skin. Okay, apply text. Now if it's too big, you can always make the font smaller. So I went ahead and put 10. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and add another text box. And this one is for, oops. This one is seven to 10 minutes. Pretty much all of them are seven to 10 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and just add that. All right, there it is. All right. So there's the goji berry yogurt mask. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these masks and I'll be right back. So for description, um, since I've been doing like skin type description and then how long you should leave the product on, we want to follow this description. You can also follow the ingredients side. I've been following the active ingredients side, but Obviously, it's more common sense to follow the description part. It's common sense. I just, this is my first time doing this, guys. So I'm learning with you. We're all in this together. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my enzymes right here. So this one, obviously, with enzymes, you have to be more careful with the skin type. So make sure you guys label these properly i will show you guys at the end how i've labeled how i've labeled mine the lemon cyst enzyme this is only for normal normal to dry skin hyperpigmentation and melasma mature skin some damaged skin so i'm just gonna put the skin type description and some tips for use all right guys so i just grabbed my printer i finished labeling or not labeling but i finished with the labels so now it's time to print So I'm all finished. Just finished labeling my masks and enzymes. I'm super happy with the results. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and labeled the skin types, descriptions, and then as for enzymes I also went ahead and added the tingle and pH and for this one I did like an advanced protocol for pomegranate enzyme so here it is lemon cest enzyme grape enzyme blueberry enzyme coconut Enzyme pomegranate. This one is the cranberry tone turnover peel. Um, autumn spice hydrating mask. Marble berry. So mask. And that is all. Super happy. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I definitely enjoyed creating it for sure. I am super excited to put these back on my shelves. So if you guys have any comments, any questions, let me know. Also, if you guys would like to follow me on social media, my app on Instagram and Facebook is skin.bijackie, and then my personal account is at Jackie Vasquez. 
So thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you.